democracy is, is not just about the ballot box. Democracy is about a balance of power in society between capital and workers, between parties, between the branches of government. And the Constitution today has created a paralysis in favor of the people at the top, and it's very hard to change it. And you say that America is a corporate state under popular control nowadays. No, I say what people, you, back to your first question, about people believe in the dogma of democracy, we believe in the ideals of democracy, of life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, one person, one vote. But in our hearts, we, 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 we know that even if we do vote, and, and change our administration in November. Uh, that That's not because of the money, because of the influence of the lobbyists. John McCain's campaign is all about, is run by lobbyists, that no matter who wins, the power structure inside the Beltway, the, the Wall Street Beltway connection, Wall Street Pennsylvania Avenue connection, uh, means that we're not likely to get the, th- the, the needs that people express in their daily lives, a better infrastructure, safer bridges, safer roads, better health care, all these things that people in their ordinary lives know are essential to them, we're not likely to get because the dogma of democracy, the ideal of democracy, does not deliver after the election because the power structure prevents the kind of change that people have voted for. But there's also another debate that goes on, and that's over whether government should get involved with helping people or not. And uh, that, uh, whether it's Grover Norquist, who thinks that we should pretty much shrink government, or whether it's uh, people who just say, look, I I think my taxes are too high. Uh, I really do not want to pay for all sorts of things that don't benefit me. Spoken like a really successful hedge man- fund manager, right, who, who, who don't want to pay. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, that's an old saw, too. I mean, if you said this government, if, if, if you don't believe in government, then you don't believe in the interstate highway system. You don't believe in the uh, National Guard. You don't believe in, uh, in public parks, public schools, um, public everything. I mean, And the, if you don't believe in socialized medicine, you don't believe in Medicare. Exactly. The, the, this goes back to what we were saying just a moment ago, that is that, is that, they, that they taint uh, what is actually a hallowed tradition in this country, that there is an equilibrium, a balance between the private and the public sector. We need both. So is this uh, just a, a, is this a political philosophy or is it just a, a way of, of making greed into something that sounds positive? Well, it's a, it's a way of casting a ma- an ideological mantle around, around the exercise of power. This is all about power. Most people don't realize that the real winners in politics are, are, are not the the, the successful candidates at the ballot box. The real winners are those who control the governance of the country after the election is over. And this involves people who use ideology, who use philosophy, as you say, to 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 create a sheen around their exercise of power, so to get what they want while paying lip service to the dogma of democracy. <laughs>